Hi, my name is Mike DiDonato from Southbridge Tool and Manufacturing, and we're the makers of the Team Hoyt Running Chair. Um, and we're gonna, Nick's gonna walk you through on the aftermarket uh, bike boom attachment for our signature series chairs. So go ahead, Nick. As okay, you... this is how you'll receive the adapter in the mail along with the bike boom. Yep. Take out, you have to take out the quick release pins. So I'm going to do that now. Just put them aside for now. That's it. You don't, yeah, that's fine. Yep. I'll take out the bottom. And there's a bracket in the back too. You need to keep, good hold the other one. Yeah. There you go. Here we go. That's it. Real life here. Okay, let me put that here. Okay. So now I have. It. Okay. All right. Step one: put put the fork hole, line it up. Now you may have to. The fork. You may have to because these forks vary. Mm -hmm. You may have to pry them slightly open with your fingers, but it's pretty flexible. So. It's going to go like this, and you want to line it up with the hole. All right, insert the quick release pin through the fork blade. Like so. I got it, Nick. There you go. And just lightly tighten that. You're not going to lock it down yet. Put my two fingers on it Good. for now. Next, put the, the bracket with the rear quick releases through the holes. Now I gotta look underneath here and guide them through the holes. You can look through the back to line up. Add one on, and then I'll get the other on. Yeah. I'll hold it with underneath, and I'll just apply the and put the, the adjuster nuts. on. Yep, and snug it down. Somewhat in the center, Nick. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kind of eyeballed in the center. Yep. Right. Now eyeball the adapter so it's somewhat centered it's about there. on the frame. Right about okay. There. Yep. Good. Now go back to the front and tighten the quick release skewer so that you feel pressure right, so when you I, lock Now, I pin. went too far with that nut, right. so I'm going to back off. Yeah, you may have to play with it. It's Slightly. just like a bike quick release skewer, but you should have That's pretty some good resistance right there. I got, when you lock it down. Yep, some resistance was okay. there. Okay, now all you need to do is find that same resistance on the rear and lock both of those pins down. So I came to here. See, that's a little too weak. loose. Too yeah. loose. So I'm just slightly turning more. Uh, maybe you need a little yeah. more. You definitely need some resistance. Yep. No. Tight. So you. So this is just. You got to take your time with this. Yeah. A little better. I'm feeling. Okay. And you may want to tighten the other more. one yep. and then find the final tight part. Right, that's there. Maybe slightly more. It's pretty good there. Okay. I think I gotta go back to this one a little bit. Yep. There you have it. I think that's okay. it. And that's how it looks when it's installed. There. Now, uh, take the bike boom, slide it onto the receiver. Mind you, the, the loop goes to the left. That's out. Okay. Slides onto the receiver like so. Right onto this. Oh, I put it on crooked. My bad. Okay. Insert the D pin and lock it down. Make sure it's locked. So the D pin goes through. Just like so. And make sure the D pin is in. There you and have. now you're ready to install it onto the receiver that you've already put on your rear quick release. So this goes that you would to you would have installed on your quick release before this. And then this you roll yep. the chair up and 
And this goes through here. Slide the locking pin in. If I can get it here, I'm just trying. It's easier when it's on the bicycle. Okay. Uh, like so. Make sure that's locked. Locked. And put the safety strap around the rear triangle on the bike frame. And then. And you're ready to go. There you have it. Yeah, this is what it looks like on the chair. Yep, that's, that's it. it. Takes a little time the first time, but you get used to it. Great.